I am alive and it is great to be alive. I am showing off the very first kit gun I built with you all today because I am kind like that. Sharing is caring, everyone. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. I call it the Hazer um, because, well, if I click on it, it should tell me what parts it consists of. Ah, yes, here we go. The Tomb Finger, the Zip, and the Haymaker. So I, I mixed Haymaker, Zip, and Finger, and I got Hazer. Although I, I guess Haymaker also ends in Er. Look, I'm not the most creative person alive, all right? I'm doing my best. But point is, this was supposed to be a heavy damage sort of single fire pistol weapon. Uh, and the magazine clip, it said it had the fastest reload, but the smallest magazine capacity. I was thinking the small magazine capacity would be a downside, but it still has nine freaking shots, which once you see what this weapon does is more than enough to satisfy me. It doesn't feel like a downside at all. The reload speed is wicked fast as well. Okay. I've got Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion, Pistol Pestilence, Lethal Torrent, Jolt, Prime Pistol Gambit. Um, I've got I've got a little auger packed here. Uh, to be honest, I could put something a lot better. You you can make this weapon much better than what I have here. Um, you can fit two extra mods if you polarize this thing. If you have way too much free time, which I haven't had lately, <laughs> you can get this thing to be pretty beast. But I want to show you just kind of like how it functions, so that you can see. You know, for influence of like maybe you making your kit guns. Anyways, this build gets you to a critical chance of 64.8%, not bad, and a status chance of 87%. So really cool. This is both a crit and status weapon, which I I really enjoy and appreciate. This is gonna get you 2,023 corrosive, 1,152 radiation, 299 impact, and 233 puncture. All right, enough talk. I am out of breath let's test this thing so uh level 80 and 70 appears to be the cutoff point where this thing just absolutely decimates things you can continue using it in higher levels than that but i prefer to stay within my comfort range i could test this against level 150 enemies but i want to i want to stay within the point of the video so as you can see there uh no trouble at all dispatching level 80 elite lancers um, you're absolutely going to decimate most of the enemies in the game with this thing, no problem. And keep in mind, this is not even the strongest build for this thing. You can make it even stronger. So yeah, he's level 80. I'll spawn him again and trap him here and so we can actually do like a breakdown of what's going on here. So come on. I just pick Harrow because I'm tired of them moving around. So as you can see, it's not that effective, but if you can get the, the status procs to start going, then it is substantially more so. And the rate of fire with this... Is pretty decent. Um, one of the only things that bothers me, so the description for this barrel is not the best. It says that it, it's like, oh, hit, hit somebody, a lot of bodies, you know, with this, because it's got splash, but the splash radius is kind of garbage. At least in my personal experience, it just feels like it doesn't work half the time and it doesn't have an eight punch through. So here, I'll spawn another one. I'll see if I can simulate some of this um, in quotations splash damage because i'm I'm not feeling it y'all not feeling it at all maybe if i get him to stop moving okay wow i don't know if they changed it or what but whenever i do it out in um well i guess the orb valis in fortuna is not the best testing ground because it's a wide open space so you have a lot larger margins to miss from see the other thing that bothers me is the projectile flight speed with this barrel um it doesn't seem that bad in here, and for majority of the game's content, it's going to be fine. But if you're going to be using this thing out in Fortuna or the Plains, I highly recommend you put an increased projectile flight speed on it. That's going to make it way easier to one-shot Corpus from a distance, which you totally can do with this thing. Very satisfying to use out in the Orb Valis. I'm going to test this thing against some other enemies, and then maybe even... Here, let's test it on some Corpus now, and then I might even test it with some different mods, perhaps. We shall see. So let's just go ahead and do some crewmen here. We'll do like eight of them because why not? So here are our eight crewmen. Here are our, 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 our eight crewmen. Oh yeah, against corpus enemies because I don't have any armor. It's just totally freaking decimates them. If I can aim properly, I guess the splash damage is pretty good. I guess just in the uh, portion of content I've been using it with, it hasn't felt like the splash damage really does anything. But here it seems pretty decent, so I'm happy with that. Does good damage. Man, loving that. That blast effect. Get wrecked, son. So, yeah, a pretty cool pretty cool pistol, actually. Not too shabby at all. And then I'll, I'll try it on some level uh, 80 chargers. I don't know 
why you would be using this against chargers when you have melee weapons, but you know, hey, it's well. Oh no, there was one sole survivor. Fight, 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 fight. Welcome to my Thunderdome. <laughs> no, but anyways, joke's on you. You're all dying, so sorry. I know, it's not, not the happiest of endings, but if you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. Hey, what, what, what show is that from? Somebody help me out here. Here we go. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I'm wrecking everyone today, including you, sir. You have the privilege of being wrecked by the great and mighty fit. Man, look at those ludicrous particles. Ludicrous speed. I love it. That is beautiful. It is a pretty gun to shoot. I'll give it that. The visual effects are very cool. So, yeah. Um, really neat. Just thought I would show you guys what my first kit gun was. I got a little bit of a head start because I did not technically make this thing out of only the starting pieces. I waited until I leveled up my Fortuna standing a couple times, and then I picked some of the free weapon parts they supplied to me, so I was able to get a little bit of an upgrade to this weapon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope these are entertaining for you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.